Life in Times Tonight is made possible by the following foundations. The James Irvine Foundation, which is dedicated to the development of an informed California citizenry. And the L.K. Whittier Foundation, dedicated to improving the quality of life by supporting innovative endeavors in the fields of medicine, health, science, and education. Good evening, I'm Val Zavala. And I'm Jess Marlowe. State legislators may be short on answers to California's energy crisis. Gaye looks at some Orange County inventors with a unique way to produce energy. John Truppel grew up in the sand and surf of Orange County and learned an early lesson. Waves can pack a wallop. One day I got really trounced pretty good surfing and thought about, you know what, this is a lot of power. This home video shows the birth of his wave-inspired wonder, converting the ocean's power into electricity with a marine hydroelectric generator, MHG for short. It grew from this prototype at Scripps Institute of Oceanography to the big test, a 50 kilowatter built on an oil platform off the coast of Santa Barbara. The MHG includes a float, drum, accelerator and a constant speed flywheel that drives an electric generator. As the float rises with the wave, a cable wraps up on the drum. It's designed to absorb the energy and then give up the energy and keep the uh, generator running at a constant uh, speed so that it's producing a, a nice clean 60 cycle power. Harnessing energy from the ocean makes a lot of sense for a place like California, but Trappel says his most receptive audience isn't here at home, but overseas. The company Truppel works with, EEP, has its first order for a wave action generating plant in French Polynesia. Remote islands, the island of, of Raiatea, Uteroa, they, they pay a huge amount of money for diesel fuel. Truppel has patented the idea in nine countries, including the U.S. He says the company is ready to build a megawatt unit. We're ready to start uh, final engineering and construction. We just, just pick a site, pick a city, somebody write a check and we'll start building something. 18 months from now, I'd have a megawatt out there. Although no one on this side of the Pacific is asking for it. But that may soon change, thanks to the energy crisis. Why do I have to go to Texas or Montana or uh, New Hampshire for power. I should be selling it to them, not buying it from them. Chavez thinks if California power companies looked at alternatives more, maybe this state wouldn't be in this energy pickle. 